Hey, what's up? I'm Michael Alvarez. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you may have seen that I've been studying and practicing for the Cisco Deafness certifications. In the process, I have come to know many automation platforms such as the Cisco UCS Manager, which has an emulator that we can install in our PC. This emulator is a virtual appliance that emulates a complete UCS environment from the UCS manager system to the fabric interconnect switches and servers. This allows us to test the functionalities of the UCS managers and practice with the APIs without requiring a physical hardware. So let's see in this video how you can download and install the Cisco UCS platform emulator on VMware Workstation 15 for Windows 10. Let's do it. Okay. Here we are in the Cisco Community Forum, in a post by Eric Williams, where he shares the information and links to download the emulator. As you can see, here is the link that takes us to the download page of the virtual appliance. We are going to continue clicking here. The emulator is in OVA format, because this is deployed inside a pre-configured built -on machine which we are going to load in VMware Workstation. The appliance takes approximately 2.3 GB, so the download will take a while depending on, on the speed of your internet connection. Let's get started. All right, here we have the appliance downloaded. Now we simply double click and VMware Workstation will begin to import the virtual appliance. I'm going to choose a directory that I have already created to import the virtual machine. Ready? This import process takes less than a minute, so let's wait for it. Once this process is completed, we are going to change the type of the network connection that the virtual machine brings. We are going to choose the host only type, which configure a private network between the virtual machine and the host, in this case, my computer. I'm choosing BNet1 in custom because I already have this virtual adapter configured as host only for a specific subnet. We will do this with the three network interface. Done. Let's start the virtual machine. We see how the appliance boot process starts, followed by a self-installation and configuration process of the emulator. During this process, we do nothing, just wait. This process can take about 10 minutes or more, so be patient. I'm going to speed up the video so you don't have to wait for it. The signal for you to know that the system is up and running is when you get this login. The platform in the burner gives us the username and password to access to the console. So let's test it. Here we are. Let's now see the virtual IP with which the appliance was uploaded 
to proceed to enter the GUI through the web. Okay, so the IP is 192.168.227.129. We proceed to open a browser and enter the virtual IP using HTTPS to access the GUI of the controller. We click on Launch UCS Manager and enter the UCS PE credentials that we saw in the console banner. You can ignore this message and click on cancel or tell it to not show it again. Hit this no option and OK. All right, we are inside the UCS Manager GUI. Finally, to conclude the process, let's go to the topology that comes in the emulator to confirm that all the elements are here. Good, as you can see here, we have a whole infrastructure of servers and switches ready to use, where we can practice our API's exercises. Well, engineers, here is today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Don't forget to click on the like button. Let me know in the comments how your installation process went and subscribe to continue learning about network programmability and automation.